I just got off the phone with uh, someone at Signature. Just really do love their tech support. I've never been let down yet. Um, so it turns out when you have one single 314 amp hour battery going to 280s, you're going to have these cables, this termination resistor in an opposite direction. In my opinion, their little paralleling guide, which I'm going to link down in the description, isn't entirely clear on this because it shows two different illustrations and it doesn't really, in my opinion, um, clarify which section you're going to use in what scenario. But if you have one single 314 and then you've got 280s down the line, you're going to put that termination resistor in COM1 port and you're going to have the COMS2 port feeding from the 314 over to the 280. Now, if you have multiple 314s, that's going to be backwards. You're going to have that termination resistor over in the COMS2 port and this wire in the COMS1 port feeding the next batteries down the line. All right, and you'll see here on our device monitor app, once everything is connected, you go down to that battery section and you're going to see all three batteries showing up online. Uh, before I called tech support, I was only getting that battery zero and uh, I was really having trouble getting battery two and three to get communicating. But it turns out it was just that termination resistor and having everything uh, in the correct locations.